Hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, Olga, Rafael, how are you? How you been doing? Um, no, I, I, I don't feel well today. You don't feel well? You feel yes. tired or are you I'm, sick? No, I'm, I'm sick for my stomach. Mm, yes, I understand. So I'm you're down. sick for your stomach. You're down. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. yeah, no problem. No problem. We are going to review a little bit. Vamos a revisar. But you're present, right? <laughs> you decided to take the class. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. No problem. And uh, how have you been doing, Rafael? Are you okay? Do you feel tired? Do you feel okay to take the class? Well, my my days always are so hard or difficult because I, I am employed mm -hmm. and I take care of my, my, my sons, my children, and to me it's so hard. Yes. But um, I'm here, I, I, I my perspective is to learn something new about this language and um, yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, very good. Pretty good. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you for being present. Thank you for uh, Olga, that even though she's sick, she has like stomachache or uh, she doesn't feel very well. Uh, she's present also. And we have Soraya. Are you there, Soraya? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine, thank you for asking, fine. So we are ready to begin, right? Uh, you completed the platform, completaron la plataforma, verdad? Yes, hasta oh. la sección dos. Hasta la sección dos, section two, exactly, section two. Ahora solo vamos a revisar un poco la sección dos por si tienen alguna duda y vamos a empezar con la sección tres. Have you checked section three already? A little. A sí. little bit. A little bit. Okay. Little. No problem. We are going to check it. También la vamos a revisar hoy para ver si este tienen alguna duda o preguntas. ¿verdad? Vamos a tratar de hacer algo ahí también en la sección 3. Entonces vamos a empezar. Eh, ¿Qué estábamos estudiando la, 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 la semana pasada, el jueves pasado? What were we studying? Do you remember the last topic that we studied? Recuerdan la última, el último tema que, que estudiamos? Uh, yo no, yo no pude estar el, el jueves pasado, pero hasta el miércoles estábamos este, viendo el pasado perfecto. Ajá, pasado perfecto contra el, este, el presente. El presente, el presente, el presente uh -huh, continuo, perfecto. exacto. Sí. So, in this case, eso es lo que estamos viendo, el pasado continuo versus el pasado simple. Entonces, uh -huh. se va para decir una historia, etcétera. Uh -huh. Pero, en este es. caso, este, revisamos diferentes adverbios para poder decir este, la información, ¿verdad? Yo ya les envié esa información al grupo. Entonces ya la pueden tener ustedes para que la revisen. Y lo que estábamos yes. viendo era una conversación, ¿verdad? Una conversación con what have you been doing? This tense uh, was the present perfect continuous. Estábamos estudiando el present perfect continuous. ¿Y para qué usamos el present perfect continuous? We use it to uh, express that an action started in the past and continues up to the present. Algo que hemos estado haciendo en el pasado, pero aún lo estamos haciendo en el presente, ¿verdad? Aún lo estamos eh, desarrollando. Por ejemplo, I've been working for this company since 2010. 
or she's been doing exercise for the last six months. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, uh, right now you're studying English. Ahorita están estudiando inglés. For how long have you been studying English? For how long? Like, por ejemplo, en este Two curso. Two years? <laughs> Two okay. years? Two years. En este curso, por ejemplo, I've been, por ejemplo, I've been uh, studying English for two years, right? Or since 2020. Entonces, este, pueden hacer, pueden decir eso. Ese es el present, present perfect continuous. También la semana pasada revisábamos eh, las oraciones, ¿verdad? Sí, estaban en eh, cómo hacer las oraciones en positivo, en negativo mm -hmm. y las contractions, ¿verdad? Teníamos ahí los ejemplos. I have been living in New Jersey since 2012. She has been talking this, uh, she, she has been taking these pills for years. Y las negativas con have not, ¿verdad? I have not been going to college because of the pandemic. And she has not been eating well since she moved alone. Entonces podemos hacerlas en afirmativo y en negativo también. Entonces, este también aquí en, en la plataforma también, este explican esa información, ¿verdad? Tienen ahí la información. Completamos también ejercicios. We completed the exercises with a conversation. For example, the conversation, what have you been doing lately? Well, I've been spending my free time at the beach. Have you been working part-time this year? Yes, I have, etc. Entonces, now I want you to tell me what have you been doing lately or how have you been feeling recently? Like this, these questions here, estas que están aquí. Esta es la que vamos a, a contestar, ¿verdad? What have you been doing lately? Solo para practicar. Y how have you been feeling recently? ¿Qué has estado haciendo últimamente? O ¿qué has, ¿cómo te has sentido recientemente? Using the present perfect continuous just to practice, okay? So, Olga, let's say, for example, how... Have you been feeling recently? I'm very, <laughs> very sick. <laughs> I've been feeling very sick, right? I've been feeling I'm very sick. Feeling and what very happened very to sick. you? What happened? Why are you feeling sick? I have a, a stomach issue. You have a stomach ache. Since when? Uh, for today, uh, in the afternoon. Today in the afternoon, mm -hmm. did you eat something that caused the stomach ache? Um, I suppose I I drink um, too much coffee. Uh, too much coffee. You have <laughs> like gastritis? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, so that was the problem. Yes. Okay, so yes. you have been feeling no. sick. Have you have you been taking medicine or uh, yes. did you take some pills? Yes, I have a... Uh, Algilasa. Algilasa. Is that good? Because some people have recommended me that. Is that good? Yes, it's for good. It's good for me. Yes. Okay, I will I will buy one because actually I, I, I have gastritis also and I can drink oh. coffee also. So I understand you. It's horrible, right? Yeah. It's horrible. Okay, so thank you for sharing that information, Olga. Now mm -hmm. let's see Rafael. Rafael. Uh, what have you been doing lately? Something that you haven't shared with us before. Well, I've been staying in my home mm -hmm. and I take my, I take my, I take her, my, my kids and, and cooking and, and teaching and driving and everything doing uh, different things yes okay and for how long have you been staying at home uh, well uh, uh, i've been staying my home um, three years ago okay since three years ago uh-huh i can find a a job Mm -hmm. because I I am old mm -hmm. in, in my in, 
in our country is difficult. Uh, conseguir, how do you say conseguir un trabajo? To get a job. To get a job. Exactly. And in anyway, I I I take my my son say. Yes, That's I, it is my life. <laughs> that's your life. You're taking care of your children. Yeah. Yes, you it's true. Um to, to get a job in our country is kind of difficult, but even though that you have some limitations or probably you don't sometimes you don't uh, get a job or, or the, you you don't get the job you, you expect to have, right? So sometimes you need to create the job, right? Sometimes you need to to self-employ yourself. Well, I I don't need I don't have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, almost uh, um, um, also <laughs> also uh, I need to speak English to to get a, a job uh like uh call center mm -hmm. and well only <laughs> okay very good yeah pro learning things is good like learning new skills practicing like previous things that we knew that we knew before that's okay and you have to just keep on trying rafael and probably if you look for a job you will get a job, definitely. Okay, thank you for sharing that information. And now, Soraya Lisbeth. Soraya, how have you been feeling recently, Soraya? Uh, great, teacher. Great. And what have you been doing lately? Tell me something that you have been doing lately for some time. cooking mm -hmm. uh, the cleaning house mm -hmm. every day okay I've been, <laughs> you've been cleaning the house very every day and something that, that for example uh something that you have been like working recently or uh, like studying for example for how long have you been learning english mm. Quiero ver. Eh, nine months. For nine months. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For nine months. Okay, and how do you yeah how, how do you say that with the present perfect continuous? ¿Cómo digo he estado aprendiendo inglés por nueve meses? ¿Cómo digo eso? Mm, I... uh -huh. Ay, que me cuesta. I've I, been, uh -huh. I've been learning, learning English, English for nine months. For nine months. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Por eso, that's the reason why I give you these uh, structures, right? Por eso practicamos con estas estructuras del presente perfecto. I have been learning English for nine months. So, for nine months. Yes, try to practice that and you will keep learning more and more English. Okay, Soraya? Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing that information, Soraya. Now, Anna. Thanks. Anna, how have you Hello. been doing lately? Uh. Are you feeling, have you been feeling okay? Have you been feeling like kind of sick, like Olga? Are you able to speak right now, Anna? If you if you can speak, it's okay, no problem. Okay, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm doing I doing work in my house. Uh huh. I housework. Creo que se dice teacher. Yes, housework. Okay, I've housework. been doing house housework. Um, a lot of. <laughs> a lot of housework, right? Yes. A lot of housework. Housework is really tiring, right? Housework is really tiring. Uh, very, very tired. Yeah, very, very tired. <laughs> that reason you always are like laying, like receiving the class in it in resting, right? That is your time, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna, for sharing that information. And we have also Alejandra. Alejandra, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, how have you been feeling recently or what have you been doing lately? Well, I've been cooking my my lunch for tomorrow. Oh, you, what, what did you cook? Um, chicken, rice, and vegetables. Vegetables, okay. And have you have you been preparing your lunch for your job like in the past years or that happened recently? Um, I have been preparing my lunch uh, after two years. After two years? Yes. Since you got your, your job. Okay, very good. So you're an expert cooking, right? <laughs> yes. I think so. <laughs> okay, very good. Probably one day we will try to cook something here in the class, but it depends right on the topic. So thank you, Alejandra, for sharing that. Isaac Mungia, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. And tell me something that you have been doing lately, something that you have been working on or doing just for fun or in, in your job. I have been working accounting for eight hours this day. For eight hours? Yeah. Okay, so you are an, an accountant? Yeah. I okay. Accountant. I and for how long have you been working as an accountant? For seven or eight hours at least. Like seven years? Hola. Seven... Yes, exactly. Nine years. Nine years. And is it easy to be an accountant or not? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Is it easy to be an accountant? Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's difficult, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. More if you work for an enterprise and you have to be checking oh, the you, numbers. It's very stressful. It's really stressful. It's really stressful. Yeah, it's really stressful. But now you are resting, right? You're learning English. You're having fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, perfect, Isaac. <laughs> Thank you for your that information. And the last one is Elena Gutierrez. Tell me, Elena, what have you been doing lately? Something that you have been working on, something you've, you've been doing for fun, probably. Good evening, teacher. Well, lately I've been studying for, for, a be, for to be a pastor chef. Ah, you have been studying for being a pastry chef. Yeah. For how long have you been studying? Um, then, no, nine months. Nine months. And yeah. what have you been cooking like recently? Like what kind of pastry are you able to prepare? Oh, um, cheesecake. Cheesecake? Bye. Mm -hmm. um, in Spanish, um, brazo gitano. Brazo gitano. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cakes, cupcakes. Cupcakes. Yes. Okay, Not perfect. Great. So you can do a lot of things. Yes. Are you going to sell the? Are you going to sell cakes and cupcakes after that? After graduating? Yes. 
is my purpose. That's yeah. your purpose. Yes, my purpose and has my, my own little business. That's great that uh, to have your own business. Okay, perfect. That's okay. Hopefully one day you will be able to show us some of your job, right? I'm sorry? Yeah, hopefully one day you will be able to show us like some cakes that you have made, that you have cooked. Yes. Yes, Maybe. that would be fun, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing that information, Elena. Now we have been practicing the present perfect continuous, as you can see. We use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue in the present. I say, okay, so you just need to keep on practicing. Recuerden que eso se usa para situaciones que hemos empezado en el pasado y aún les estamos haciendo. Así que este, nada más eh, recuerden repasar. Y ahora vamos a seguir con la clase de hoy, ¿verdad? Have you checked the new section? ¿Ya revisaron la nueva sección o no han visto todavía? No. Not yet? Yes. Yes. yes a, a little. A little, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, perfect. Bit. So it's about good book, terrible movie, right? A good book and a terrible movie. Mm -hmm. Un buen libro, pero una película terrible. So this is what we were, what we are going to study uh, on these lessons on this week. So if you haven't watched movies recently, or if you have a movie that you really like, try to remember it, try to rewatch it or watch a movie during the week, because that's something that we are going to study. Si tienen alguna película que les gusta, alguna serie, traten de revisar o traten de recordar de qué era, Porque eso es lo que vamos a estudiar. And this is the section one, one what's playing. I guess that I will share this later. We are going to check first this one. This is the new lesson. And this is the, the presentations that we are going to have. We are going to practice a little bit of the conversation. And this is uh, this is the the new topic, movie mania, right? It says successful movies in their categories. We have drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, war, comedy, animated, and action. Okay. Questions about the movie types or the genres? Preguntas de ese vocabulario? No, teacher. No, right. Okay, perfect. So we have uh, different film titles. We have uh, the names of some movies here. For example, Titanic or Titanic, right? Mm -hmm. What is the genre or what is the movie type of Titanic? Is it a comedy? Is it horror? Is it a drama? It's a drama. It's drama. a drama, right? It's drama. a drama. And also it's like a romantic movie, right? Because yes. it, it's a uh, story about two people and they met each other. Have you seen Titanic before or you have never seen it? Yes. It's one yes. of my favorite <laughs> movies. A lot of times, right? Okay, perfect. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course, right? Yes, of course. Now we have Star Wars that oh, they are releasing like movies it. like every 10 years now. Uh, Star Wars, is it a drama, science fiction, horror? What kind of movie is it that? Science fiction. Science horror. fiction. Horror. Yes. Horror. Oh. Why, why is, is it a horror? It's horrible to me. It's horrible to you. It's you don't like worst. Star Wars? It's the worst movie ever. <laughs> why? Why don't you like Star Wars? Is it boring for you or is it like, why do you don't like it? Uh, uh, to me, uh, uh, that movie, it's, um, I don't know how to describe. It, it's like Harry Potter. Oops. Harry Potter? No, Harry no, Potter. No, never, never. 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 But have you watched any movie like a Harry Potter movie or a Star Wars movie? Have you watched a complete movie or? No, never. Okay, um, so it doesn't call your attention. 
Okay, what kind, What is your favorite movie, Rafael? Um, or what is a movie that you really like? Uh, well, I have uh, many movies. Mm -hmm. uh, like, um, like, uh, Turtles Can Fly. Turtles Can Fly. Is that a good movie? It's uh, about the kids of of Iraq uh -huh. of, and the war of this country. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's interesting. Okay, I haven't I haven't heard of that movie, so I will look for it. Turtles can fly. Okay, or perfect. So probably or, it's a, or, or, it's a or I recommend it, uh, Sir Ryan Bright. Sir Ryan Bright. Okay, I will I will look for it also. Churchill's can fly and Sir Ryan Bright. Let me let me I will write it down. Perfect. I, I like movies. I like to watch a lot of movies. But lately I haven't been watching a lot of movies because I'm kind of busy. But I will try to look for them on internet. Now we have also Jurassic Park. Well, Star Wars is a science fiction, and Star and Jurassic Park. What kind of movie fiction. is it? Science action. fiction, also, right? Yes. Action. Yes. Action also is action movie. Yes, exactly. We have another mm. one. Is the Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers? Have you watched that movie? Mm. No. no. Never. 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 Okay, that was a really famous movie, uh, a movie in, in the two thousands. So probably that is like a fantasy movie, right? Because it's a surreal world that is just like story, but it has a lot of elves and magic and things like that, right? So that is a fantasy movie. Mm -hmm. We have also Save It Private Ryan. Have you watched that movie? Oh, it's a war. Yes. Yes, right. It's a it's war nice. movie. Yeah. Yes, it's a good movie. It's, it's a good a, movie. It's yes. a good movie. It's a work. So, what What is the meaning of private? Oh. What is the meaning of private? It says saving private Ryan. What is the meaning of it? Do you many, know what many, many, many soldiers uh, save uh, Ryan. Um, mm -hmm. Ay, o sea, les costó encontrarlo, perdieron vidas otros, pero tenían que salvarlo a él porque era como el símbolo del nacionalismo de, de los Estados Unidos. Yeah, that was the objective, right? They have to, you mm -hmm. have to find it. it was difficult, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Y saben cuál es, qué significa private? ¿Qué significa esa palabra? Private, no. Private, ajá. Porque se llama salvando... Private Ryan. ¿Qué significa private? Privado. Privado. Yes, it can be private, privado, but also it means soldier, right? Soldier. Yes, it's soldier also. Saving private Ryan, salvando al soldado Ryan, right? Okay. So private is also soldier. Okay. Exactly. Now, Home Alone. Have you watched that movie, Home Alone? I like this. Yes. You liked it. It's like a Christmas movie, right? Yes. A yes, a Christmas movie. So it can be a comedy also, right? Is it yes. a comedy or is it a, an action movie? A comedy. A comedy. comedy. Very good. Home Alone. It's Yes, it's a lot of fun. It's like a classic, yes. right, from Christmas. The Lion King. Have you watched The Lion King? Now we have two movies, right, from The Lion King, but what kind of movie is The Lion King? Animated. Animated, exactly, animated, perfect. And Spider-Man, we have a lot of superheroes movies, right? Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man. Now, what kind of movie is that one? Is fantasy, science fiction, action? Action. 
action, action. yes action. science fiction also right because oh. it, it doesn't exist like it, yeah. it combines a lot of genres right mm -hmm. okay perfect yes. let's see helena welcome to the class helena <laughs> Thank you you. <laughs> came a little bit. You came a little bit late, right? No. No. Today I come early. Early. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. What is your favorite? What is your favorite um movie or one of your favorite movies? Oh. I don't know. I think it's Enchant Enchanted. Enchanted. That is like a horror movie or it's a comedy? No, it's, a, it's a movie. A movie of Disney. Uh -huh, Disney movie. Mm -hmm. Encantada. Enchanted, right? Enchanted, and yes. now I think that there's going to be a, a new one, right? Yes. yes are, are you going I to don't watch remember it? the name, uh -huh. but it's a, 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 a positive. I don't know. It's disenchanted. Disenchanted, right? Enchanted. Yeah. Disenchanted. Okay. Enchanted. Disenchanted. Yeah. Probably that. That's what happens when you get married, right? You're enchanted, and then yeah. you're disenchanted, right? <laughs> Desencantado, right? Okay. Very good. So this is uh, the topic for this week's classes or these lessons, right? Movies or series, right? If you have a really good movie, try to investigate about it. And we will try to, to check more information about that, right? The vocabulary also. Now we have this mm -hmm. conversation about movies, right? Uh, have you listened to the conversation already or not yet? ¿Ya escucharon mm -hmm. la conversación o todavía no la han escuchado? Oh, yeah. no, not yet good. okay not remember yet. that these conversations are in the um, in the platform so we are going to listen to it just let me check if i share it correctly déjeme compartirla correctamente para poder escucharla porque a veces no se escucha el sonido okay now i think this is the video that we have to to listen to it and the video's name is what's playing que están dando por decir algo mm -hmm. part a listen and practice do you want to see a movie tonight hmm maybe what's playing how about the new james bond film i hear it's really exciting actually the last one was boring what about the movie based on stephen king's new novel i don't know his books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, perfect. Were you able to listen to it? Yes? Let's yes, please. Out. Okay. What was the conversation about? De que se trató la conversación? What was this conversation about? ¿De qué estaban hablando? Estaban hablando de hacer películas, de ver películas. De ver películas. Exactly. They were going to watch movies, right? Watch movies. What kind of movie are they going to watch? Action. Action movie? He wants yeah. to start movie. Yeah, probably, probably, because mm -hmm. at the end they are going to watch a Halle Berry movie. And mm -hmm. it says uh, Carol and Roger that probably they can watch a Stephen King movie, right? Mm -hmm. And does she like horror movies or she doesn't like horror movies? She doesn't like She doesn't like, like. Doesn't like right? She doesn't like horror movies. Do you like horror movies? Yes. Yes, right. Yes. Some of yeah. them are funnier than scarier, but yes, they are they are fun to watch. Okay, we are going to listen to it again. La vamos a escuchar otra vez porque después la vamos a la practicar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah.
Details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, perfect. Do you have questions about the pronunciation? Preguntas? Acerca de la pronunciación o de algo? Alguna palabra que no hayan entendido? Any word that you haven't understood? What's playing teacher is like ¿Qué películas están en cartelera? Exactly. Something like, uh -huh, something like that. What's playing? What's playing, right? Ah, they're playing a, a James Bond film or Star Wars or etc. right? That's the meaning of what's playing. Exactly. So we are going to practice it right now. We are going to repeat it and then we are going to practice it in couples, okay? Okay. It says, uh, do you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well. What do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She is a wonderful actress. Okay, now we're going to repeat. Now, I will say this sentence and you repeat, right? If you want to, you can turn on your microphone or you can turn it off, right? No problem. But you have to repeat, right? You have to repeat. Okay. It says, do you want to see a movie tonight? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe what's playing? Mm, maybe, maybe what's playing? How about the new James Bond film? How about the new James Bond film? Perfect. I hear it's really exciting. I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? What about the new novel? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. His books are usually fascinating. His books are usually fascinating. But I don't like horror films. I'm sorry, I don't like horror movies. I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. It looks good. That's fine with me. That's, That's fine, fine with me. Fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. She's, She's a, a wonderful, wonderful actress. actress. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. Good pronunciation. Uh, one question. What is the meaning of actually? When it says actually, the last one was boring. ¿Qué significa actually? De hecho. De hecho, right? Exactly, de hecho. La última fue aburrida. Actually is no actualmente, right? Mm -hmm. Actualmente no se, no se dice actually, but actually is de hecho. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now we are going to practice. Let's see, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we are going to form like two groups, right? We're going to make it short. 
vamos a practicar en grupos para que todos podamos practicar. Vamos a hacer tres grupos y eh, este va a ser uno de tres o cuatro y vamos a practicar esta esta conversación. We are going to practice this conversation in groups, right? Do you have the conversation or do you want me to send you the conversation to the group? Do you have the conversation? Yes. Oh. No. Yes. No. Okay. Do you have access to the platform? Because if you don't have access to uh, the conversation is here in the platform. If you don't have access right now to the to the platform, I can send it to you. Do you have access or do you need me to send it to you? ¿Quién que se las envía al grupo? No, teacher. No, okay, perfect. Now we are going to form the groups, okay? Just allow me one moment. And then we are going to practice the conversation. Okay. Uh, if someone is not speaking or practicing, just let me know just to check, okay? Now uh, you are going to have like 10 minutes to practice and then we are going to come back, okay? No problem. Go ahead and let's practice the conversation, please. Okay. Iniciemos. You are Roger. Yeah, permítame. Me perdí. No. Es que ahora hay que darle a descargar a las imágenes porque si no, no se guarda. Ah, bueno. No. En la galería. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahora sí. Okay. You ready? Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. Well, what about the movie based of a Stephen King new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I am interested in the new Halliburton, in the new Halliburton movie. It's a look. What about, what about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay. Otra vez. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one. 
creo. Actress. Ok. Otra vez. <risa> vale. Roger. Do you, do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe. What's playing? How about the new... What do you want to see? Ok, ya volvemos, creo. Es tú. No, go ahead. No, 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 continúe, ah, continúe. Okay, no problem. Well, what do you want to see? Ah, ya me perdí. Ah, ok. Um, Instant is in the new Halle Berry movie. Ah, uh, it looks good. Ok, entonces otra vez. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe what's playing? How about the James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What's about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Okay, welcome back. Have you practiced? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to check the pronunciation because that's something important that we are going to study this uh, uh, this week, the pronunciation. Now we are going to have volunteers. I need a volunteer, un voluntario que quiera participar, por favor. Okay, Rafael, now choose one of your classmates to practice the conversation, please. Olga. Olga, okay, perfect. Now I'm going to share here the, this is the, the conversation. If you need to read it. I'm ready. Okay, okay you're ready. Go ahead, please. Okay. You be Begin, Rafael. Okay, you begin, Rafael. Uh, I can hear you. Okay, okay, I start. Uh, do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fasci fasci I, funny, fascinating, <laughs> but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I am interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It's, it looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Perfect. Me cuesta, me cuesta la pronunciación de fascinante. Yes, exactly. That's what I noticed. But the conversation was really good, actually. And also, we need to practice the intonation, right? Intonation is really important in English because it's not like in Spanish. It's a different way. But remember to uh, change your intonation. And when you say like... Uh, uh, statements like affirmative statements and also mm -hmm. questions right like do what do you want to see or do you want to see a movie tonight 
mm. maybe what's playing, right? Like try to change the intonation. And fascinating is just fascinating, right? Fascinating. fascinating. But it's difficult when we uh, link the words. Like, for example, when we say his books are usually fascinating, usually fascinating, right? It's kind of difficult to, to say some words together. Yes. And also, um, so we have to practice, right? We have to try to link, to join the sentences or, or the words, actually, to, so, to sound more naturally. So that's what we have to do right now. Uh, also, I'm interested, it's okay. You want to see. So intonation is the main problem sometimes because English is not like as flat or it changes the intonation. So we need to practice an intonation. Okay. Now, uh, Olga, choose one of your classmates, please. Not to practice, but. Oh, Ana Lopez. Ana Lopez. Are you ready, Ana Lopez? Yes. Okay, perfect. Choose one of your classmates. Who do you want to practice with? Um, Isaac. Isaac. Isaac, are you there? Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. Anna and Isaac, please go ahead. Anna, do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? Um, interesting in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Very good intonation and very good the pronunciation of the words. Uh, I know that it's kind of difficult like to say some words because the R, the R sound is kind of it's not that easy, right? We no tenemos ese sonido en español, el R. So it's uh, it's just if you say boring, it's okay because it's your accent, right? But it's it's if you want to practice it, uh, just in case that you want to change it, uh, you can say boring, right? Boring, Halle Berry, horror, right? R, uh, all the words with R. It's uh, that was something that that's, it's just an advice, but it's okay, right? Um, and also the verbs in past, regular verbs in past, for example, based, a uh, based, no, right? Is based, based, based with the right, based. It's okay, but the rest was really cool, really good conversation. Now, Isaac, choose one of your classmates, please. Isaac, are you there? Isaac, Munguia, are you there? Are you able to hear me? Yes, I guess that we have only Elena and Alejandra, right? The other ones missing. Solo ellas estaban. So, es que quería que escogiera alguien más, pero creo que solo está Elena y Alejandra. Solo ellas nos faltan por participar, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. Elena y Alejandra, go ahead, please. Ok, teacher. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? 
I am interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Very good, very good, perfect. Now, uh, it's kind of difficult also to say Stephen King, right? Stephen King's new novel. So it's kind of difficult to join it. Also ex ex exciting, exciting. And another word that is in, a, a, that is in the past and is uh, with ED. A veces la pronunciación en, que terminan en ED es difícil. Interested, ¿verdad? Aquí es I, una I y una D al final la pronunciación. Interested. So, but the rest was okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Elena and Anna. Okay, now we are going to continue just to finish. This is the objective, uh, the object, the objective of the of the lesson by the end of this class. Particip participants will comprehend how to use present participles. But I think that one part of the conversation was missing, right? It says, listen to the rest of the conversation. What happens next? What do they decide to do? So according to this, in the conversation, they were deciding what movie to watch, right? But at the end, what was the movie that they were going to watch? A Hollywood movie or another movie? So we are going to listen to the rest of the conversation, the end of the conversation. And then tomorrow we are going to practice the, the grammar. But let me check if I'm able to share it in a different way because I'm, I was not sharing the sound. Yes, I guess this is the one, right? Okay. Now uh, we are going to listen to the rest of the conversation and you just need to tell me what movie do they, de uh, they decide to, to watch. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay, very good. What movie do they decide to, or did they decide to watch? The Halle Berry movie. Are they Halle going to Berry. watch a Halle Berry's movie? Yes. No. No, 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 right? No, you <laughs> want to listen to it again? Yes, please. Just the last time, okay? It's really short, but it's, they are not going to watch a Halle Berry movie. Let's see, this is the part I guess. Call the theater. Actually, I didn't see this movie, was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay, now what, what movie are, you go, are, are they going to watch? Um, A Halle Berry movie? No. 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 All right, oh, what are they going to watch? They, they see... Uh, 
they mm -hmm. see something in the TV. They will watch something on the TV because it's not showing anymore. The Hollywood Hollywood yes. movie is not showing on the on the cinema, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, ¿cómo se dice ya no le están dando en el cine en inglés? It's not showing anymore. What? It's not showing anymore. Ya no la están dando, ya no la están eh, mostrando en el cine. Okay, perfect. Tomorrow, because it's time to go, uh, we are going to check the participles as adjectives. So now um, I want you to investigate at least five adjectives. Para mañana, cinco adjetivos. Cualquier adjetivo, algún adjetivo que no sepan o que ustedes ya sepan, try to include that in a list. And tomorrow we are going to investigate more about present and past participles. If you want to, we can complete also this exercise tomorrow because now we don't have time. And we are going to explain more about the, the adjectives, right? The present participles as adjectives. Okay, do you have any question? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. So remember tomorrow, five adjectives, five new adjectives that you didn't know. You are going to, we are going to make a list to learn more vocabulary. Thank you for coming. And I will see you tomorrow at 7.55, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Tomorrow. Have a nice Good night time. and get better, Olga. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good evening. Bye. Nice night.